hello guys what's up so in this tutorial what we are going to look at is how to take a dump of your mysql database okay so first i will log into my mysql i will write this command and then i will enter the password so now i am inside my my mysql so there are several databases already here so i'm just going to list them so these are my databases okay now suppose I mean you are working like my primary database is SD so you are working on some project and many times you are going to do something drastic with your database you are going to experiment with your database and before doing that you just want to make sure that okay whatever you are going to do but you just want to make sure that you don't lose your data so in that case what you will do is that you will just take a backup of your database and then later on what you can do is that um, just restore your database from your backup okay so we are going to create our backup here so first I will exit and the utility that I will use is my SQL term so it's very simple my SQL term dash u u for user root root is the username that is my user and dash p that dash p means password and then name of the database and backup dot sql so the thing that we have to notice is that this sign so this sign is kind of uh, operating system i mean whenever something like this happens is that uh, so the left hand side is actually some command which will give some output and on the right hand side is the name of the file where we will uh, store our uh, the output okay so this my sql dump command will actually give us the set of uh, sql statements which will help you restore your database later on okay so this your this part my sql dump instruction part this part will give you a lot of sql instructions which will help you restore your database and all those uh, all that set of instruction set instructions is going to be written in this file okay so there is no path it means it will be going it will be written inside my uh, current folder uh, with this file name okay so I am going to run it so I'm going to put the password and yay I have an error so this is the error and we can see here that unknown system variable gtid mode so what is this you are going to get this if you are on the current version then you will you might see something like this so what is gti this is actually global transaction identifier okay so what it does is that there are many uh, master slave replication system okay so to track that system they my sql has introduced gti global transaction uh, identifier so because of that we are getting this error so how you are going to get around this error so it's very simple you have to just pass some extra options here for your mysql um, dump command if you are not getting in uh, um, this error then you will just get everything successfully done but in case you are getting this error you will have to pass these arguments as mine okay so I'm setting my global transaction identifier first off and again it's asking me passwords yay so my backup is created so let us see what is there in the backup I'm using more because I want the content of my file in a paginated way because this is going to be a huge content yes so you can see here like this is actually an SQL file which we, which is full of SQL statements and when you will restore all these statements will be executed one by one so you can say a lot of data a lot of data so I'm just going to exit so that was all how to take the dump of MySQL database later on we will go and see like how to take dump of all the database how to take dump of more than one database and other things but for this video that was all thank you